Okay, so stuff's just happening, and I'm not following it. Um, what just ha- I, I was trying to take a nap with my wife, and my phone blew up. So, uh, two things happened. Number one, uh, the Doom DLC number two uh, achievements just went live for some reason, and in it comes a bunch of leaks. Uh, number two, Artifact 1.0 is back. Electra tried to cut my hair. I've been hiding it from you. She gave me a bald spot on the side. Look at that. This is what happens when Electra cuts your hair. So, okay. We're gonna read the blog post and see what the fuck this is all about. Alright? Let me pull up the blog post. So, this is Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry. Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are two different versions of the digital card game originally named Artifact, developed through a collaboration between Valve and Richard Garfield. Artifact was designed as a deeply strategic card game, but without the limits of a conventional physical board. After a highly polarizing and utterly disappointing initial release in November of 2018, a small team at Valve reworked the game into what would become Artifact Foundry, and the original game was renamed to Artifact Classic. Artifact Foundry was designed to address many of the complaints about the original game as possible while maintaining its strategic depth. depth. Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are both free, and every player has access to every card in both games. Neither game features in-app purchases. When Artifact Classic was released, cards were sold in packs and could be exchanged between players and the Steam Marketplace. God! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh! Okay, so at the same time. Oh wow! Haha! Okay! Alright! Artifacts, the Dota 2 card game. Shipped in November of 2018. Despite good initial sales, our player count fell off dramatically. This warranted a shift from the service slash update development model. We would plans to full... Oh, man. It's now been about a year and a half since the current Artifact team began work on a reboot in earnest. While we're reasonably satisfied we've accomplished most of our game side goals, we haven't managed to get the active player numbers to level to a level that justifies further development at this time. As such, we've made the tough decision to stop development on the Artifact 2.0 beta. However, we recognize that both versions of Artifact still have players and still have value to the community. For this reason, we're opening both games up to make them available for free to everyone. Final releases of Artifact Classic and Artifact 2.0 Beta renamed Artifact Foundry are now available. Technically, Artifact Foundry remains an unfinished product, but, what, but most of what is polished and art, the core gameplay is all there. While both games will remain playable, we do not plan to ship any further gameplay updates. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. The game is free for everyone to play. This is for Artifact Classic. The game is free for everyone to play. All players get every card for free. You will no longer be able to buy card packs. Paid players' existing cards have been converted into special collector's editions versions, which remain marketable. Market integration has been removed from the game. Paid event tickets have been removed. Customers who paid for the game will still earn packs of collector's cards for playing. Players who got the game for free will not. There's a blank... The final release of Artifact Foundry. The game is free for everyone. Players gain access to all cards. All cards are earned this way. No card packs will be on sale. The final card art that was in the pipeline is now in the game. In short, when we say free, we really mean free. We are grateful for the Artifact players, and particularly those who were able to help us tune and refine what would become Artifact Foundry. The team feels this is this team feels this is the approach that best serves the community. We're proud of the work we've done on both games and excited about delivering them to a much larger audience of games. Thanks, the Artifact team. <laughs> 
All right. Um, so they killed it. So they killed it. They, they 100% killed it. That is nuts. They just, they just, they were just, we're done. It's over. We're done. It's, it, it's, it's not successful. No one likes it. It's done. Wow. The only difference is it says collector's edition up there. They killed the whole thing. Both versions Wait, of the game. Preston, Sorla Khan. You ask any one of them and they will spin you a story about why their cause is just. Wow. Does this change your view at all that Valve would never nope, the Valve would never announce TF2's death ever. None. Never ever happen. It would never happen. Artifact Foundry. Oh man. This campaign is never gonna get finished. They threw in the puzzle maker. What? What the fuck? Streaming again. What happened? They lo They threw in the puzzle maker. They just threw it in. They were just like, fine, fine. Just give them the puzzle maker. Fine, whatever. Fuck you. Oh, they've, they've, it l looks better. The art has come, come a long way. It's too bad the game's dead. Oh man. Oh Jesus Christ. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Okay. So, data mine. Data mine time. De definitely data mine time. Uh, is, is, we have a lot to look at. <laughs> also, it seems like Doom Eternal's about to... About to get it. it. They might just shadow drop the DLC tonight, which would be amazing. Yeah, um. Yeah, also, Xpoc caught this. Uh, CSGO specific behavior trees for Source 2. So, CSGO Source 2 is still in the mix here. Uh. DLC, The Ancient Gods, Part 1 Cosmetic DLC. What? Updated 31 seconds ago. What? Does Part 2 sit in Part 1's content? No, the weapon reveal. Yeah, spoilers for the weapon. All the new achievements are just here. They, they added the achievements. They're sitting in the game. Uh, acquire the Sentinel Hammer. So, um, John, can you send me the list of achievements? <laughs> Collect all physical codex, five lives. Reset your weary, rest your, rest your weary fists. Yeah, so this happened today, 56 minutes ago. I don't want to look into it, Tyler. Yeah, well, it looks like three levels, which is okay. All right, we're going to start by data mining artifact classic here. Um, <laughs> this is fucking dumb. I can't believe they did that. Actually, I can very much believe they did that. They're literally focusing on Citadel right now. We might legit get this. If they're like, look, now they have to announce that Underlords is dead too. They need to push out season two. 
and just say that's dead. It seems like everybody's just moving to Citadel. Client ignores car ownership. Prize play disabled. Card health gold. Okay. Just gold versions of cards. That must be the collector's editions. Just gold what? versions of stuff. Yo. Streaming again. What is happening? I am confused. Artifact. Artifact is both revitalized and dead at the same time. We've got some Schrodinger's artifact up in here right now. Man. And there's so much stuff that's planned that was planned for artifact. Mobile ports, single player campaign with like story driven stuff. Lots of really cool stuff was planned. All right, so the artifact classic update is very nothing. It's it's nothing. There's like nothing here. They changed it to card catalog. Nice. Convert cards into packs. Tricky player one. Thank you very much for the 13 months on Twitch Prime. Remember, Twitch Prime is free. We've got collectors editions. Yep. Yep. All right, and then for Artifact 2.0, the Artifact Beta. 248 files! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Did you catch the Dota blog post with a hero that was supposed to come out this quarter? Yes, I did. CSGO is supposed to get a co-op mission soon? Yep. Tyler, you're looking extra sexy today. Thank you. It looks like I'm balding. Nice. Oof, is all I have to Oof. Say. Yeah, six months on Twitch Prime. Thank you, Lay Hazy. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got Steam Datagram stuff and the proto buffs. Nice. I am ZM with the 16 months on Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Is Artifact banned in Steam China? <laughs> Exceptions.txt Exceptions from VRF failing. So this is yours then. Okay. Yo. What if Underlords isn't dead? It may not have updates, but it could still possibly be in the works. By the way, how is your brand Oh, she's here? fine now. Is she getting better? Yeah. Love you, sexy boy. Thank you. Kissy kiss. Kissy kiss. Active when talking, active when listening. That's Citadel. Okay. Hold up. What is today? The fourth? Are we still in bin stuff, like non-game file? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is still from the gag earlier. <laughs> Anim clip item. Yeah, we got some... Some Citadel stuff. Hello, Tyler. Hello. What's dead aside from Artifact? In the Valley of Gods? Uh, I wonder how they're going to treat the leak in the Hugo stream. They had to have known that that was going to happen. Like, come on. Yeah, Artifact's music is, is awesome. Totally. Like, you can say what you want about the game. The music's great. Um, I don't know anything about this Anim Clip stuff. Seaforce facing condition, I don't know. Here's more stuff about moods. Player slot. Resource names. Sequence blending. Split screen slot. Split screen slot. Split screen. New 
Utility symbol. Oh, we're totally doing a watch party tonight. Yeah, because they might just shadow drop the shit. Xbox, you're here now, so you can correct me when I'm wrong. Demo up converter version 001. Duration scale, no. Fade in time, nothing. Force facing condition, I don't know what that would be. They might shadow drop DLC 2 tonight. Because, like, why not? That seems like something they would do. Who's Xpa? <laughs> game followers here too. I game. Maxim. See up right fit get the fit up at the bike up. See up right fit up at the microphone is Maxim. Layers for this mood. What the fuck is mood? Lists of animations to choose from. Nice. Killed the vibe with the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Mood! More shit for mo What is mood? This is all Citadel stuff. What? How does the mood system work? Jeez. You see, I'm, I'm positive because I don't have, like, a full understanding of Citadel that, like, I'm, I'm sure I'm passing stuff that legit could be from Citadel, but, like, we don't know everything, right? So much stuff about moods. Like, there's no new news here. It's just, again, it seems like artifact dead, citadel alive. Weight of the animation. Higher numbers get picked more. When scaling an animation, grab the scale value as an integer used for gesture and posture control under number of looping sections. Oh, shit. Okay. Anim graph, footlock, auto ledge detection, and auto stair detection. Different mood types for heads and bodies. We already knew that existed, but again, it's here. Animation layers, local attachment offsets, listening and talking, scaling, clip data. Again, I don't, I don't know how any of this can help. Tilt plane pitch spring strength, uh -uh. item table, uh, layer animation, box type saved integer, mood type, node indices, model name, panorama. <laughs> Good thing about this is we now get a lot of stuff to report on as well as content, I guess. Bummer, though. Yeah, well. I saw something that makes the mood system as a way of grouping animations by emotions when talking to NPCs. You know, that's probably right. Tool t oh. Tooltip images, search result node. Stop! Oh, it's because I'm hitting control S and not control C. Whoops. Alright. So now we're still in bin looking at Lib Engine 2. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. Yep, demo force version up convert. So source one to source two demo conversion. That's definitely for CSGO. VR compositor, VR fidelity level, and VR presents. Use raw signal handler, demo force up convert. You missed something, Citadel? I mean, if I miss anything, just DM it. DM me. What? Yo. Doom DLC 2 is coming tonight. Sources for that? None. Also, isn't it interesting that we literally do not know how the gameplay of Citadel will be compared to how we knew Half-Life Alex? It's because Half-Life Alex was a Half-Life game. exciting to wait for. You know, there's more. Like, you, there are things you can assume. And we do pretty much know the gameplay. It's like Zombie Master. Feature us to skip ticks when the client is catching up in low frame situations. Again, it sounds like CS. Extend time in seconds before MMQ reservation expires. Matchmaking queue, right? Right? 
Again, we're probably looking at CS stuff. Do you enjoy Daft Punk? Never really listened to him. Uh. Alright, this was compiled on the second. Matchmaking failed, waiting on blank blank clients. Oh, there's literally... Copy that line for me, please. There's literally a line that says Citadel. Reserve server for Q game. This is all CSGO matchmaking stuff. Server confirmed for all player reservations. What the fuck? All right, we're getting CSGO source 2 soon. They, like, just flushed all the artifact stuff out the door and did not clean it. That's what you said last time? Fuck off. You do my job, then. You do it. Open a YouTube channel. You do it. Meta duplication. Conversion failed. Yeah, so I guess there's an actual Citadel line that reads, uh, C Citadel modifier handle typed. Ugh. <sighs> Max mat lighting complexity. MSAA samples. Damn. There's a lot here. They did not clean this at all. All right, still in the bin. Again with split screen. CSGO does not have local split screen support under any condition, even if you go back to like PS3, Xbox 360. Right? All right, what is this? How do you read that? I mean, yeah, it could all just be Citadel stuff, but... That's actually more likely. I don't know. It's a rotation thing. All right, mesh system. Prints the bind pose of the specific bottle, optimally limits a particular bone to a parent chain, otherwise prints the entire skeleton. Would artifact ever be opened up to the community? No. It's just there's not enough of a player base there to make it valuable. Defer back buffer commands, apply new box shadow. Character set build. Oh, that's something. That's Citadel. Double save to member. What the hell does that mean? What? Yo. Your once CSG source 2 is out and the only current game in the old source it's 1 engine would be TF2. Yep. Meaning they would be more inclined to either hold further development of the game entirely or port it to their current development engine. That would TF2 be the future. Source 2. That would be the future. Yep, that, those are your two options. You either upgrade it, and if you're upgrading it, that means you want to continue working on it, or you just stop working on it. They're only working on TF2 right now because they're bored. It's because of COVID. Like, they're working on some decently sized stuff. And that's what that MVM fix was, was hinting towards, but... You know, it's not like 
you know, oh, the updates are back forever. The game's like 14 years old. Like, 14 years before TF2 came out was the original Doom. So that's like saying you wanted id to continue working on Doom 1 from the time they released it to the time the orange box came out. That's insane. That's that's not how the industry works. Doom is different. It's absolutely not. Control point to radial screen space. What is that? What does this word mean? E U L E R. That is a person. Oh, Euler numbers. Okay. 50%, 0% distance. What the fuck does that mean? Light style, new. Light style, old. Euler degrees. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. More of this stuff. A lot of math. Lots of math. What? Yo. Hey, Tyler. Glad I could catch a stream. Thanks. You look good, by the way. Thank you. Did you lose weight? About 60 pounds. Yes, thank you. Attenuation type. Fall off, 0%. Fall off, 50%. What do you think that's from? Fall off distance from control point. What is the fall off stuff? 60 pounds since when Half-Life Alex was announced. So, like, the stream where Half-Life Alex was announced... Oh, those are particle effects? Okay, cool. Are Classic and Foundry one launcher now? They should be, but no. Uh, they're separate downloads. And they're both dead, so... Only keep them downloaded if you legit like those games. Alright, so this is just a bunch of math. Minimum speed for check. Medium speed for kill on collision. Those are, again, for particles, right? They're not talking about in-game stuff. Per particle alpha scale attribute, resource, schema. Okay, so those are all for particles. Rendering pipeline. We've got a development texture. It literally means nothing. Oh, okay. Waiting for my new supplements to get delivered. I will have, when they get delivered, I will have to run up and get them because I haven't taken my supplements in a couple days and I'm feeling it. All right, what is this animation? Uh, render system, a okay. cut. Oh, and the artifact soundtrack was over. That's fine, I'll play some legit music for now. Give it a second. Oh, wait, it won't play because I switched. Yeah, right. When you switch audio sources, it won't work. Tyler smokes weed? No, I do CBD though, but I'm out of it. And the place I usually get it is also out of it, so. Oh, that reminds me. I need to take my fucking medicine. I'm like two and a half hours late. Not CBT, CBD. CBD oil. So CBT stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. And cock and ball torture, obviously. Let me get my watch. And, um... My aunt and uncle are like doctors they're actual psychiatrists and i remember i was talking to my aunt about a panic attack that i had and she was like you know what would really work for you is some cbt and my brother was like yeah tyler that'd really work for you some cbt and she didn't get it because she's an adult and so I, I just, I made her repeat it over and like, I need what? I need what? I, oh, I need CBT. Oh, right. Yeah. And Electra's like, shut the fuck up, Tyler. <laughs> oh, right. Timer four hours, please.
Attempting to create UAV for compressed image. This is not supported without VKKHR Maintenance 2. What is that? Am I in a third party? Vulcan strings, that might be third party. Uh. Excuse me. Yeah, this is all third party stuff. <clears throat> this is the Vulcan renderer, and I think they outsourced their Vulcan renderer pipeline, right? Like, you obviously wouldn't find any gameplay leaks in the Vulcan renderer file. Like, duh. Uh, hold up. Just fixing some things on my computer screens. Yeah, all right. Uh, we're in the scene systems. What is all this? We're obviously going to make a video, by the way, uh, and we're going to do it on stream, which I know I don't normally do, but I'll, I'll talk about it later. Let's get the... These are all tools. This is tool stuff. Avocado. Avocado. This is a button creator. Beetroot. What the fuck? Banana. What the hell? Someone fill me in. What's what's going on? Blueberry. Broccoli. <laughs> ah, k -k 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 What is this? Are these code names? UI color themes? These fruits are from the Dear MG Lib third part. Oh, these are all, okay. I'm just gonna skip this file then. All right. Sound system. Um, that's interesting. Stuff that's found in this data mine is not going to be gone into much at all, if if any. Uh, with uh, the video about the artifact killing. Um, I might point out one or two major things, but this stuff will just be saved for the next Citadel report, which isn't going to be for a little while. You know. Connection map corruption. Clean routes for server selection. It'd be hilarious if devs slipped in CSGO 2, Dota 3, or TF3. They didn't, they, no, they didn't add Vulcan to TF2, they added Vulcan to Portal 2. Yeah. Did you find, where did you find the achievements? It's on SteamDB. SteamDB picked it up. This is all networking stuff. Stadia. Oh god, why? Oh, this is all third party? Okay. Multiply water drag for buoyancy. 
Yeah, it's, it's all in one. It doesn't take up any space. More stuff about demo up conversion. SDK asset types. Should compile error fall back to disk? Okay, nothing. Core econ images, that's... Okay. Nice. Yo. I understand some of these words. Thank you for the nine months, Adam Roman. Well, that's, that's our job, is to find the words and then, you know, teach them. So this is the thing that, that XPOP pointed out. The source one import txt map, which is the same fucking file that leaked all that Citadel stuff a couple like last month. CSGO specific behavior trees for importing content for the mod CSGO. Yep. And they're still messing around with that format day month thing like okay yeah we get it You'll, you're, you're still doing the, the day month year thing all right and then you get to the legitimate dota yes. card game stuff Except with your prime people. yo seven months with the twitch prime from i'm not reading your name but twitch prime is free So this is all just gonna be, at least for the most part, artifact stuff now. However, stuff usually can leak back and forth, like ammo defend, ammo type, ammo type, ammo type, ammo type. Guys, can we get some ammo types in the chat? Ammo flag max. Ammo force drop if yes. carried. Yo, Cortex TF with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. All right, so we got a lot of stuff related to ammo types. For those that are more familiar with Artifact 2.0 than I am, there are ammo types in Artifact 2.0 though. What the fuck? What did I do? Bullet mass, bullet speed. That is not for Artifact 2.0. You don't need to calculate that on a fucking card game. Environment wind. That might be Artifact. Precipitation, does it rain in Artifact? Buoyancy! This is not Artifact stuff, man. Wind! Sniper has a gun. No, I know. No. Ooh, Dave Greco. Look, it's Dave Greco. Let's get some Dave Grecos in chat. Let's round of applause for Dave Greco, everybody. Round of applause for Dave Greco. We gotta love Dave. We love that Dave Greco guy. Dave, we get the best from Dave. Round of applause for Dave Greco, man. We love Dave. We love Dave Greco. Here on this channel, we love Dave Greco. Moving on.
<laughs> Devin Platts. Do something cool. Nice. Cortex TF with the 10 gift subs. Boy. Thank you very much, my man. Nice. That's really cool. Who did? Everybody, Cortex TF. Got a round of applause for Cortex TF with the tag gift subs. Round of applause. We love Cortex nice. TF here on this channel, guys. Like, we love him. Oh, we love Cort. It's Electra telling me to shut the fuck up, isn't it? Nice. Am I being too loud? Shut up. Okay. Oh my God, I'm trying to read. Every other word, I hear words still in my brain, and it's just nice. like I literally. Are you having a stroke? Clapping. Nice. Thank you, thank you for the gift subs. <laughs> Give it up for Electra. Nice. Physics ragdoll pose. That doesn't that doesn't belong here. Water splash size. Draw traces. Break piece spawned. It's funny, it doesn't matter what, like, ha like, oh, leaks for artifact. They just stop development, so it doesn't matter. Oh, here's time of day stuff again. <clears throat> Max Carey. It's this song. Sing along, everybody. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin. I wish he was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin. Hugo Martin. I wish Hugo Martin was my motherfucking dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. 
Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin, I was Hugo Martin, was my motherfucking dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad, I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin was my dad, I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad, H U G O. I wish he was my dad, was my dad, was my dad, was my dad, was my dad. Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. <laughs> the first live performance of Hugo Martin. hell is that? Navmesh non zup. What does Z what does ZUP mean? What is that? Navmesh non zup. Oh, Z up. Z up. Right. What's up? Well, this is interesting. Sound, bullet impact, sound, combat, sound, context, allies only, sound, context, combine only, sound, context, danger approach, exclude combine, explosion, gunfire, panic, NPCs, react to source, danger, glass break, move away, physics danger, physics object, player, player vehicle, thumper world. Oh boy. And then right below that, subclass stuff. Must be from Artifact, yeah. <gasps> source 2, Source 2, Source 2 confirmed. It's a Half-Life 2 leftover? Is it? Wouldn't it be cool if this did something? I'll put that would do something cool. Fluid density. Why? Why do you need fluid density? Is Underlords dead too? It is, but they haven't announced it yet. Ooh. Cinematic mod? Cinematic mod, anybody? Fully modeled? And then from here, yo, Trabaha, Tabajara77 with the seven Twitch Prime months. I love this song. Nice. Yo, 14 months with a lose ditty. updated card images, right? Which I don't have to date of mine because it's a dead game. Yeah, puzzle maker stuff. There was an earthquake near New Zealand and now everyone in the Pacific Islands is preparing for tsunamis, including Hawaii and American Samoa. Jesus Christ. Well, thoughts and prayers. I hope they're okay.
Yeah, so I'm going to say that that's about everything that can be found in this data mine. So from there, let's take a look. It's a whole bunch of puzzle making stuff, which they're just throwing out into the public. Super strange that this is how they're gonna do it. Instead of just disappearing forever, they're actually gonna just give us what they had done and then leave. I mean, that's cool of them. It's really cool of them to, for them to do that. Yeah, so that looks to be about it. Did they update again? Oh, is this x removing everything from his, his system because it's dead? And he doesn't have to keep track of it anymore? Yeah, okay. Alright. My supplements here yet? Yes, I'll be right back. All right. I'm opening it and I'm trying not to show my address. Hell, I should show my address. We could have a big old pizza party. I choose to believe it was only announced to be dead because Eric Robson didn't want to return to me poking him about when the next update was. Yeah. Maybe. This is hard to open. There you go. Okay, so first thing I got in the mail is this. I'd so much rather get Bad Dragon merch than a pipe bomb. <laughs> you live in Ohio and there's only like two buildings, so it wouldn't be hard to find you. Yeah! Look at that. Look at that. That actually looks really fucking dope. It's 
So there's that. It's gonna go up on my wall. And then the supplements. Okay, so first thing I got is this Kava probiotic water. I've got fiber supplements, different kind of fiber supplements, multivitamin, and D, vitamin D. Do you remember, I missed that one Half-Life Alex stream where you had like 12,000 viewers. Yeah, I remember that. That was weird, huh? Did you have the same reaction everyone else as soon as you heard Dota card game? Yeah. What are your final thoughts for Artifacts cancellation? I don't know, man. More people to work on cool shit. Almost one year since Artifact launch, since uh, Half of Facts launch, you're right. <laughs> nice. Swan. Ronson, 33, with the new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, I'm going to do something that I normally don't do anymore, just to, like, because you guys are here and you're cool. Give me a second. Check, check, check. in the mail yesterday. It's a Wolfenstein bag. I guess it was given away at, at QuakeCon. Got a Wolfenstein bag. Pretty cool. Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are two versions of the digital card game originally named Artifact, developed through a collaboration between Valve and renowned designer Richard Garfield. Artifact was designed as a deeply strategic card game, but without the limits of conventional physical boards. After a highly polarized, after a highly polarized and ultimately disappointing initial release in November of 2018, a small team at Valve reworked the game into what would become Artifact Foundry, and the original.
original game was renamed to Artifact Classic. Artifact Foundry was designed to address as many complaints as the original game as possible while maintaining its strategic depth. Both Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry both feature global matchmaking, bot play, and various game modes, but the games are not identical. Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are both games played between two players who each bring a deck of cards and five heroes to battle spread across three lanes, with the goal of winning two of the lanes before the opponent can win two themselves. In Artifact Classic, the lanes are played in sequence, while Artifact Foundry features a simplified zoom-out gameplay where you can play at any lane at any time. The Artifact team announced that both Artifact Classic, being the original version launched in November of 2018, and Artifact Foundry, the in-development beta version of Artifact 2.0, have gone free-to-play for everyone, with all cards available in those ecosystems available to everyone for free as well. Great news for Artifact fans, if it wasn't for the second blog post also made on the exact same day. Quote, Artifact, the Dota 2 card game, shipped in November of 2018. Despite good initial sales, our player count fell off dramatically. This warranted a shift from the service-slash-update development model we planned for a full revaluation of the game's mechanics and economy. This warranted a shift from the service-slash-update development model we planned to a full reevaluation of the game's mechanics and economy. It's now been about a year and a half since the current Artifact team began work on a reboot in earnest. While we've reasonably, while we're reasonably satisfied we've accomplished most of our game side goals, we haven't managed to get the active player numbers to a level that justifies further development at this time. As such, we've made the tough decision to stop developments on the Artifact 2.0 beta, end quote. The Artifact team has killed both versions of Artifact, and in the version, the Artifact team has killed the Artifact team has officially killed both versions of Artifact. And the blog post later goes, and the blog post then goes into an update to Artifact 2.0 that effectively pushes every in development feature and piece of art that was already on the table. This was likely done to push as many resources onto Valve's currently flagship in development game, Citadel. And information and evidence to point towards that even further can be found while data mining the files found in the last Artifact 2.0 beta update, referencing many different features already known to be coming to Citadel. The next Citadel report is not something I'm currently aware of making anytime soon. However, Artifact is officially dead. No more updates or development will be done to either version of the game. No more updates will be pushed. No more major content patches will be created. Hopefully, the Underlords team is capable of releasing a similar blog post, so we know that all of the major development issues are going directly towards things like Underlords. So we, so we know all of the major development time is being pushed towards Citadel, Steam VR, and Steam Fortress 2. Anyways, I'm Tyler McPicker. This is the final artifact video to ever be made on this channel, and it's been a pleasure reporting to you. I'm Tyler Mc This is Tyler McPicker signing off. Adios. I don't like ad libbing videos anymore, but it's artifact, so who fucking cares? And, uh... What?! Yo. Damn, I can't believe Valve killed Anthem 2.0. <laughs> they did, though. Okay, so, um... Yeah. Is it cool if I edit this cr quick? See, I don't like editing live because the view count of the stream always just absolutely tanks. This is the true last Valve News Network video. Fact classic and Quote, Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are two versions of the digital card game originally named Artifact, developed through a collaboration between Valve and renowned designer Richard Garfield. Artifact was designed as a deeply strategic card game, but without the limits of conventional physical boards. After a highly polarized, after a highly polarized and all 
After a highly polarized and ultimately disappointing initial release in November of 2018, a small team at Valve reworked the game into what would become Artifact Foundry, and the original game was renamed to Artifact Classic. Artifact Foundry was designed to address as many complaints as the original game as possible while maintaining its strategic depth. Artifact Foundry book depth. Both Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry both feature global matchmaking, bot play, and various game modes, but the games are not identical. Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are both games played and five heroes to battle spread across with the goal of winning. In Artifact Classic, the lanes are played. The Artifact team announced that both Artifact the Artifact team announced that both Artifact Classic, being the original version launched in November of 2018, and Artifact Foundry, the in-development beta version of Artifact 2.0, have gone free-to-play for everyone, with all cards available in those ecosystems available to everyone for free as well. Great news for Artifact fans, if it wasn't for the second blog post also made on the exact same day. Quote, Artifact, the Dota 2 card game, shipped in November of 2018. Despite good initial sales, our player count fell off dramatically. This warranted a shift from the service slash this warranted a shift leasely. This warranted a shift from the service slash update development model we planned to a full reevaluation of the game's mechanics and economy. It's now been about a year and a half since the current artifact team began work on a reboot in earnest. While we've reasonably while we're reasonably satisfied while we've reasonably while while we're reasonably satisfied we've accomplished most of our game side goals, we haven't managed to get the active player numbers to a level that justifies further developments at this time. As such, we've made the tough decision to stop developments on the Artifact 2.0 beta, end quote. The Artifact team has killed both versions. The Artifact team has a Artifact 2.0 that effectively pushes of Artifact, and the blog post later goes, and the blog post then goes into an update to Artifact 2.0 that effectively pushes Artifact, and the blog post then goes into an update to Artifact 2.0 that effectively pushes every in-development feature and piece of art that was already on the table. This was likely done to push as many resources onto Valve's currently flagship in-development game, Citadel, and information and evidence to point towards that even further can be found while data mining the files found in the last art <coughs> and evidence to point towards this evidence to point towards even further while data mining the and evidence to point towards that even further can be found while well, and evidence to point towards that even further can be found while data mining the files found in the last Artifact 2.0 beta update, referencing many different features already known to be coming to Citadel. The next Citadel report is not something I'm current. At. However, Artifact is officially dead. No more updates or development will be done to either version of the game. No more updates will be pushed. Dan, those editing skills. Oddly satisfying. That's my job, man. Thank you. So we, so we know all of the major development time is being pushed towards Citadel, Steam VR, and Team Fortress. This is the final artifact video done to either version of the game. This is the final. No more major content patch created. Hopefully, the Underlords team is capable of releasing the game. Hopefully, the Underlords team is capable of releasing a similar blog post. So we have similar blog post. So we know that all of the major development issues are going directly towards things like Underlords. So we so we know all. So so we know all of the major development time is towards Citadel post. So we know all of the major development time is being post. So we know. Post. So we know all of the major development time is being pushed towards Citadel, Steam VR, and Steam Fortress 2. Anyways, I'm Tyler McVicker. Video to ever be made on this channel, and it's been a pleasure reporting to you. I'm Tyler Mc. This is Tyler McVicker. Adios.
Yo. Don't forget to update your pre-credits in the text. Oh, we're not using credits in a video that's short. Quote, Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are two versions of the digital card game original physical boards. After a highly polarized and ultimately disappointing initial release, Artifact Foundry was designed to address as many complaints as the original game as possible while maintaining its strategic depth. Both Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry both feature global matchmaking, bot play, and... The Artifact team announced that both Artifact Classic, being the original version launched in November of 2018, and Artifact Foundry, the in-development beta version of Artifact 2.0, have gone free-to-play for everyone, with all cards available in those ecosystems available. The Artifact team announced that both Artifact Classic, being the original version launched in 2.0, have gone free to play as well. Great. its strategic fact foundry the in development beta version of artifact 2.0 have gone free to play for everyone with all cards available in those ecosystems available to everyone for free as well great news for artifact fans if it wasn't for the second blog post, I quote, Artifact, the Dota 2 card game, shipped in November of 2018. Despite good initial sales, our player count were reasonably satisfied we've accomplished. As such, we quote, The Artifact team has officially killed both versions of the Artifact team has a The Artifact Team 2.0 Beta, end quote. The Artifact Team has officially killed both versions of Artifact. And the blog post then goes into an update to Artifact 2.0 that effectively pushes every in-development feature. Then goes into an update to Artifact 2.0 that effectively pushes every in-development feature and piece of art that was already on the table. This was likely done to push as many resources onto Valve's currently flagship in-development game, Citadel, and... This was likely done to push as many resources onto Valve's Dell and evidence to point towards that even further. and evidence to point towards that even update, referencing many different features already known to be coming to Citadel. However, Artifact is officially dead. No more updates or development will be done to either version of the game. Hopefully the Underlords team is capable Hopefully, report against Team Fortress 2. This is the- This was likely done to- This is Tyler McVicker signing off. Adios. You can hear my dryer. That was already on the table. This was likely done to push as many resources onto Valve's currently flagship in development game, Citadel, and Team Fortress 2. This Cut. Now we need some music. La musica. See how quickly I can make a video if I don't try? I'm so done with Valve videos, guys. 
That sucks. Quote, Artifact Classic and Artifact Foundry are two versions of the digital card game originally named Artifact, developed through a collaboration between Valve and renowned designer Richard Garfield. Artifact was designed as a deeply strategic card game. Okay. Let's see what happens if I try and render a 720p video while streaming. Keep in mind, I'm going to close anything that is unnecessary. I'm purposely only going to render in 720p. My stream is occurring through NVEC. So if I use my CPU to render this incredibly simplistic video, maybe it will be fine. Let's see. We're going to use AVC, 30 frames a second. Uh, we're going to push this down. We're going to push that down. We're going to push this down. Gonna push this down. Yep. All right. See what happens. We're still here. We are still here. Everybody good? We still alive? No, nobody's hurt. We're all, we're all safe. Cool. Yeah, the stream is using my GPU, right? And I'm rendering using my CPU. So, I didn't think it'd be a problem. And also, it's rendering a very low-resolution video. Like, it's a 720p, 30 frames a second video. Remember when no one streamed Artifact and people ended up streaming other stuff like Avengers? I do. I do remember that. I mean, I'm sure that, like, you know, this this render would go faster if it wasn't, you know, my computer wasn't also live streaming in 1080-60, so. Yeah, it was literally porn. Not that there's anything wrong with porn, just time and place, time and place. Porn 2? Game follower, you got news on Porn 2? Shit! Guys have an extra two holes and girls have an extra four. Porn 2! Alright, now we're gonna do the thing that'll actually fuck up the stream, and that's upload the video. The video is 78 megabytes, so it shouldn't take that long, but frame drops!
Hey everybody, I'm back! I'm back! <sighs> I'm back. I'm back. Uh. I'm back. I'm just waiting for the artifact thumbnail to be made and then we're gonna move on.
so um, we've got a Hugo Martin stream coming up in like an hour and a half. We're gonna have a watch party. This is the video that I'm working on right now, uh, Doom 3 VR Edition Explained. Uh, but in order to be able to do that video, uh, we're gonna be doing a playthrough of Doom 3. I've never actually played through all of Doom 3. Real talk, haven't. I never got around to it. So for the rest of the stream, uh, we're gonna be waiting for the Hugo Martin bit. Uh, and we're going to uh, play some Doom 3. Uh, did fi Tyler finally lose it and stop trying to cover any Valve news? Yeah, um, I'm fucking sick of it. I'm burnt out. I'm g I'll get back to it eventually, but, like, <sighs> making, so, for example, making the Super Switch video or the Doom Eternal video was some of the most fun I've ever had as a professional, and then going back to the, the video for, like, TF2 and stuff, it just feels like a grind. Like, it's not fun. So... That's just where I'm at creatively. One day I'll probably get nice. back to where I'm. Cool. Doctor, that guy with 11 months. Thank you very much. Then stop doing it. Well, I need to do it to pay the bills. Is the problem. So we're playing uh, Doom 3. We are playing the BFG edition. I don't want to hear any complaining about the BFG edition because they are using the BFG edition um, to create the. Um, they're using the BFG edition to create Doom 3 uh, VR. So. Maybe hire someone to make Valve videos? No, I can't afford it. Where's the, uh... Where's the audio? Oh, volume. All right. We'll start out with some of this. That's so gross. So there are actually achievements for this. For Doom 1 and 2, there are achievements. So for Doom, these are the achievements. Complete episode 1s through 4. Complete all levels on ultraviolence or higher in single player. Complete any Doom level with 100% kills, items, and secrets in single player. Alright, so we're gonna do ultraviolence. And we're gonna try and get 100% pickups and 100% kills. This is Doom BFG Edition, which fucking sucks. It's not good. It is not a good version of the game. But we are going for one achievement. And one achievement only. And that's 100% kills, secrets, and pickups. And eventually, I will try and get all the achievements. We are playing an ultraviolence. There is no auto run button. Because fuck your pinky. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna have Electra's baby if that's okay. Alright, so we can't miss a pickup, a kill, a secret. So, I think that's all the kills. Nope. Oh, there's still those guys up there, right? Alright, so we got that secret. Now we're gonna get this secret. Alright. That's all the pickups from this hallway. Now we're gonna go outside. Make sure we didn't miss any pickups. Oh, there's a pickup. Gotta be very careful we don't miss a ki Yeah, there's like randomized pitches for some reason in the sounds. It's garbage. But it's it's the it's the official BFG edition of Doom 1. <laughs> Did I miss a pickup up here? No. Nice. Yo. Woo 11 months love you. We got cart 
Cart Awful Bine with the 17 months, and then we got Signed Tivo with the 8 month streak, 11 months. Remember, Twitch Prime is free. All right, so there's all of that. There, no, somebody has made a mod, but if you use a mod, the, the um, what is it? The achievements don't work. All right, so we're gonna do one last run through. Make sure I didn't miss any pickups. Pickups don't, clips don't count as pickups, right? It's just like the health pickups and the orbs and shit, right? <laughs> now the Unity port's fine, but I'm just, it's just here, you know. The BFG version is so significantly worse in every conceivable way. <laughs> All right, I think can you do an impression of a microwave. No, I think that's it. I think we're good. I think we have everything. There it is. Yeah, burning out of control. We're gonna save the game. Yep, and I'll, I'll... So I'm curious, actually, because I haven't looked. Um, does original OG Doom... The Ultimate Doom have achievements now? Because this is the... No, okay. These are the Unity fixes, right? They didn't push... They didn't push achievements for that. That would have been cool, but okay, that's fine. So I'm a bit further ahead in the in the campaign of Doom 3, but we're just gonna we're just gonna play it together. When is the I know Doom 64 does, and I'm gonna do that eventually too. I'm just I'm kind of an achievement hound. I love achievements. Uh the watch party starts whenever there's something to watch, you know? Are there Doom 2 achievements? Yeah, I'm sure there are. Complete any Doom 2 level in single player. Well, it looks like we're gonna do that first. I don't like Doom 2 as much as I like Ultimate Doom. At least the first three. At least Episode 1 and 3. Episode 1 and 3 of, of Doom 1 I like better than Doom 2. Yo, thanks for the two. Alright, got an achievement there. Going for all kills on Ultra Violence. We also need all secrets in this level. Which I know I'm gonna forget one, so please, I, I'm, please remind me. Without jumping, it's hard. Oh wait, right, yeah, duh. Is Citadel and the TF2 community update canceled? No, they're the only things that are still around. All right, so that should have did it for the rocket launcher. Yeah. And now I can go outside, get the shotgun. Civi taught me the wait to shoot thing so that your shots are always accurate. All right. Yeah, this version's music sounds awful. Oh God. Is that all the secrets? I mean, the music slaps, if you're listening to it properly. 
I feel like I'm missing a secret. Isn't there a map that counts your secrets? Yeah, and GZ Doom. I just need, I need somebody to confirm to me that all the secrets have been gotten. I went outside, I went up there. I got the rocket launcher. I got the shotgun. I opened this. That's it. All right, I'm gonna do a pickup check. Because I need all the pickups. Got that. That doesn't count. I got the chainsaw. I got everything in here. Doom 2 was made in only a few months, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! All right. Now we'll play Doom 3. <laughs> All right, so this is where I'm at. Oh wow, frame rate, graphics. This game looks so good coming from from Doom 2. Resolution. I mean, this game does look fucking phenomenal for being as old as it is. Yeah, they're running the Doom VR, Doom 3 VR stuff like in the trailer on base PS4 hardware. It looks disgusting. Ah, oh, fuck you. We are playing on veteran. Because this game is actually quite easy. <laughs> There's a few things that are in the, uh, the Doom 3 thing, like that trailer. Yeah, it's BFG. It has chest mounted flashlight, yeah. Um, I like the, the health on the hand thing. I like that. I like. They say there's like new textures and stuff, but like no one's gonna see that. Like if you're playing on base hardware, who the fuck is gonna see that? Have I ever played the original Prey? No, but I, I fully intend to. So, something that I've I've experienced now that I'm not strictly Valve News Network anymore is I'm getting to experience a lot more games. I get to play more games, and I'm learning that, like, there's more to video games than Valve. It's just, I'm, I've never been so happy as a professional when I'm working on non-Valve content. <laughs> no, yeah, Zenimax is totally trying to get more money from Doom before they sell off to Microsoft. That's totally what's going on. That was dumb. Over here. Over here. I don't trust you. Over here. Ah, dang, this game's scary sometimes. Ooh, plasma gun. I like this plasma gun. This is a good plasma gun. This is the furthest I've been in Doom 3. Hold on. Sorry, whoops. That's a neat gun. I like this gun. Ah! 
I'd love some health. Really, really, really would love some health. Thank you. That's, that's what I wanted. Where's this code? I like searching for codes. Now it's funny, I've spent so much of my professional career just like obsessively doing everything Valve all the time that there are so many games that I never have given myself the opportunity to play, you know? Now, I wouldn't say that this is, like, one of the best games ever, but it's really cool that I get to... You know, I get to just play. Alright, I'm just gonna look up the codes, because fuck you. Like, everybody does that. Who cares? Alright, so this is... You should play Fear at one point. Oh, totally agree. What engine does Fear run on? Is it this one? As much as I like that plasma gun, I like this gun more. Those grenades fucking blow. I have Prey Collector's Edition, Min. I have that too. Yeah. It runs on its own unique engine, Lilith Tech. Oh, I didn't know. Alright, which way should I go? I want to make sure I'm hitting all the extra optional areas for the achievement. I don't want to miss out on a PDA or an armor, armory. Why am I using the shotgun? Everything in this game looks like clay. I think it looks pretty good for what, 2004? I do think Half-Life 2 holds up better. I am biased though, so I don't know. I think there is uh, something about blowing up barrels. Yeah, blow up 50 barrels. That's such a dumb fucking... Blow up 50 barrels! How much is this gonna hurt me? Not much at all. Doom 3's art style always turned me off. I think the art style's great. I just think, you know... Doom 2016... Especially in the UAC levels, borrowed very heavily from this game. Is that the BFG? Can I have that? Oh. You just hate the rendering pipeline. Like, how things, like, are rendered to look in the game. Is this supposed to be the Spider Mastermind? 2016 had horror elements. 2016 originally was a lot similar to this game. And that's that's a subject of a video I'd love to make. And I'm not talking about Doom 4, like the cancel Doom 4. Hey, who the hell is hitting me? 
Cancel Doom 4 report? Eventually. Yeah, I want to do that. Hi. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. What's up? Why? Okay. Bye. if I missed any secrets. What gun? Oh, it's probably this gun, right? Why are you carrying the shotgun? I didn't walk in here with the shotgun. Even hitting me! What is hitting me? It's obviously like Spider Mastermind or something, but like. What's hitting me? I can't jump? Don't jump? Small spiders? I don't see any small spiders. Playing on veteran, by the way. Okay. We're on end drone plane. I don't think I've been this far. I mean, I don't remember fighting that before. Thanks for the three. This game has always kind of just been like Half-Life 1 to me. Warning. Coolant rod 2 offline. Main reactor operation temperature. Seating safe levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. Hey, bud. Take me to where you need to go, bruh. I like these little guys. Yeah. 
the operation temperature exceeding safe levels. I like this. I like how I'm just like walking around with this little dude. I've never played Quake 4. I intend on it. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about Quake 4. But John thinks Quake 4 should not have existed. I have Quake 4 in, in, in the box. Oh, damn. Ow. Okay. Quake 4 is not awful. It's Quake 2 too. That's what I thought. Seeding safe levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They we're carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the fleet. They're the last hope to get reinforced. Find that card yeah, and find try this again. I think I'm just gonna go ahead, like walk ahead. Hair stop hair sober with the five months, thank you very much. Quake one is better than Quake Two fight me. I don't think anybody would disagree with you on that. Oh, I thought I could just like walk ahead. Nah, okay. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save scum. Nice. Cortex TF with another 10! Yo! Spoiling my dude! Escapes. I'm safe scum. Thank you very much. where I was last time, right? sure that was an achievement keep a sentry bot alive to its destination did I not do that well I'm gonna go exploring it said except Mars City I think they're talking about like the first one right because you do have to do that at the beginning of the game This one's scripted, so it doesn't count. Art. Oh, you mean this one's like mandatory? That makes sense. All right. Has anyone played that perfected Doom 3 mod? What's that like?
pace, fast pace. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. So I must have to come back here. Man, I like this game. It doesn't feel like Doom at all, but I like this game. Have you tried the Doom 3 Phobos mod? No, I'm completely new to pretty much everything related to Doom 3. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Oh. I like that. I like this, like, monitor system a lot. So what I'm doing for the Doom 3 VR video is I'm playing through Doom 3 normally so that I know, like, what the developers intended with the game. And then I'm going to try it out in VR. I can say by playing it just like this, like on Main a normal computer, this game would be great for levels. VR. It's incredibly small, like, it's always like small, tight corridors. The beginning is super fucking detailed with a bunch of stuff to play with. There's a lot of things that you could be doing with your hands. It's a fairly simplistic and somewhat easy first-person shooter. Like, it seems like like it was made for VR, almost. And I know BFG uh, has VR support, but there's two more complete modern ways of playing it. And that is the uh, the fully possessed mod on Steam VR, which it hasn't been updated for uh, full index support yet. Warning. Cooling rod two. Awesome. And then also you have. Um, You also have the new Dr. Beef uh, Doom 3 VR mod for, um, what is it? The, uh, Quest. This thing runs natively on the Quest 2 at 90. It's amazing. I was gonna grenade her real quick, but that didn't work. The new Doom 3 is currently announced for PS4 backwards compat with PS5. But, um, there's a lot of changes that they're Service making. Now operational. This is the audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd. No, you're Prince Zuko's sister. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing. Did you hear they're finally making the, the comic books into an animated compactor. series? I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the Enpro plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. Yeah, so, um, as it turns out, what happened was, uh, through COVID, and I'm sure I, I did this, uh, people were binging the hell out of Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix, and it became Netflix's number one animated show and, like, top five shows of all time for 2020. Nickelodeon saw the success and was like, okay. And while Netflix is making a, um, this, like, crappy live-action version that the original creators of Avatar left because there were creative differences and it just wasn't coming together, Nickelodeon was like, okay... Avatar Studio, we're just gonna let you guys, the creators of Avatar, just do whatever the fuck you want, as long as you make more Avatar. And so they're like, okay, well, we wrote all these stories in comic books and graphic novels that told the story after the end of Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, so why not we just make that into the TV show? And that got announced, they're doing that. 
uh, older Aang and Katara and and Prince Zuko and all and Toph and all of them. Not like super super far in the future with like Korra and all that. Like they're all still alive, and it's the stories of like you know uh, Prince Zuko's mother and you know like growing up as the Avatar and and the split between Zuko and and Aang with different you know governance uh, ideas and stuff. Apparent. I haven't. I, I was going to read the comic books, but I just knew in the back of my head they were going to do this, and they're going to do it. And it's yeah. I'm very excited for it. I love The Last Airbender. Like, holy shit, Avatar The Last Airbender, the original television show. I honest to God feel like I, I didn't deserve that as a kid. Like, it's too good to just be a television show that's on Nickelodeon. It's like that and Spongebob. Like, as an adult, it's just way better. It's like, I, I was not a smart enough kid to appreciate what the fuck this show was. Obviously, I'm talking about the comics that were written by the original creators of the show. Yeah. It's like, how did we deserve a show like The Last Airbender? It's so good. And it, like, I got to watch through it all the way through. Um, not that long ago. It's not going to be using the same animation studio as the one that Korra was used for because Nickelodeon opens their own studio for this. It's literally called the Avatar Studio. Hazard doors sealed. Please contact plant management for immediate assistance. Warning. Reactor core temperature. 235 degrees Celsius. There's obviously a spawn room. like the last 10 minutes. Electra and I are both of the belief that Aang and Katara did not... No. Katara should be with Zuko. And then they bring back like Min Lang or whatever, just to like give Zuko a, a, a love interest at the end of the show. And... You know. The studio that animated Korra is doing other stuff. Dragon Prince. Uh, that Dota show. Yeah. Game's a bit louder than you are. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna watch the Dota anime. It looks cheap to you. I don't know, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, it does. But it's a Dota anime that's so weird. Anybody else watch the last season of Samurai Jack? No. I actually haven't seen any of Samurai Jack. The main villain is kind of bad, unlike Azula. Warning. Main villain of what? Azula is amazing. Holy shit, I love Azula as a character. Holy shit. Marine, you gotta find that transmission card. If Swan gets his hands on it, I don't know what he'll do. And they didn't kill Azula. She's still alive, but she's just in jail. Seriously, if you haven't seen The Last Airbender, I know it looks like a cheap ass show from like Nickelodeon from back in the day. It's so fucking good. And it's on, uh, Netflix. And she's voice acted so well. It's just like, I don't want to get into spoilers too much because, like, it's worth watching if you haven't seen it. But Azula's final, the final battle with Azula and Katara and, and oh man. 
Holy shit. That acting, that animation. Holy shit. Can you imagine a Wolfenstein anime with anime mecha Hitler? I can, and that would be cool. I'm really into Wolfenstein right now. I just finished New Order, and I'm working on 100%ing it right now. Uh, I'm playing this, and then after I'm done with Doom 3, I'm gonna do New Colossus, which I haven't touched, and I don't want any spoilers. And I also don't want to hear, it's not good, they shit the bed like 10 times. None of the villains in Korra are good except Zaheer. I watched the first season of Korra and thought it was pretty good, but I also thought it pretty much wrapped itself up. And then the second season, we got like halfway through it and stopped because it just isn't good. I love the voice of DJ in New Order, like new Wolfenstein stuff. Oh, I know people like like clown on it all the time because he's like, Do man. See the car? I had this dream. Okay, let's In the get dream, I had facility. some ice cream. Start the transmission from there. But I guess what those dreams say, are only just dreams. Like that shit, but I love it. He's so great. The only thing that I don't fully understand about the New Order is why the hell would she fall in love with the guy that she was obviously having to wipe the ass of for 16 years? Spoilers of the very early game of Wolfenstein the New Order. You're in a- you're like in a vegetative state from 1943 to 1961. How the hell does your main nurse of a person in a vegetative state for 16 years immediately go, Yes, this is the person I want to marry. That's nuts. I mean, I love her character. I love her character. Um, I forget her name. I love her character so much that I forgot her name. Anya. What? If you can try playing Wolf Feinstein 3D by using EC Wolf, it's a good source code. No, I've it's used EC Wolf, and the Civi video on EC Wolf stuff is great. I'm a patron supporter, and his next video is, is Wolfenstein, so I got to watch it. But, like, you know, I when I played through Wolfenstein, I played through the, the GZ Doom Total Conversion. Somebody remade all of it uh, in GZ Doom. And it plays phenomenally well, and that's how I played it, because you get higher field of view. Am I supposed to backtrack? I must have. There were enemy spawns. If you wipe their ass, you know they're D-sized? That's true, but somebody else said that, like, he was in a wheelchair for 16 years. How the fuck is he still so ripped? You know? In my memories, I remember I took a fat fucking shit when Anya walked in. It smelled so bad that she just stood there with a smile. Tenacious, happy, kind. The world doesn't deserve people like her. Also, I think I think I really need to see a doctor about these massive shits I've been taking. <laughs> The Old Blood is good. The story sucks. The, the story in Old Blood is literally just like, it's so pointless. It's so pointless. I played it before I played New Order. I played it in chronological order and it's still like, it's so pointless. It's great. The, the gunplay, the level design, the secrets, all fantastic. But the story is so Done. Old Blood is just Indiana Jones first person shooter. Exactly. And that's why when I heard that, you know, Machine Games is making an Indiana Jones FPS, I'm like, okay. 
Oh, this is where... Wait, I'm walking around in circles. What the fuck am I doing? I don't like how... Spoilers for the old blood. They had the zombies and then didn't, like, explain them in any meaningful way. It was just like, oh, it's science. The gas from underneath the castle erupted or whatever. Do you think the Indiana Jones game will be good? Of course it'll be good. Yeah, why wouldn't it be good? Where in the fuck am I supposed to go? It's literally Machine Game's take on Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like that it's raining zombies line. Yeah. <sighs> no, I'm gonna play Youngblood. I have to. I need to know everything about the lore in order to make my Wolf 3 video. Which means I need to have a Youngblood partner, and I don't know who that'll end up being. One of the reasons why I'm interested in playing Youngblood is because... Arcane apparently co-developed it with them. And I mean, I love Arcane. Simple flips? Yeah, I don't think that's his kind of thing. Maybe. Arcane did the level design. Oh, where did you hear that? Have you played Prey 2017? It's in my top five. I just wanna I just wanna see the cutscenes with old BJ. I love machine games cutscenes. You ever play Grim Dawn? No. Okay, so I was there. I come out of this door. Enemies started to spawn again. None of these are interactive. I'm gonna save. You go back up the elevator. Go up. The music in Wolfenstein is fire, but I don't think Mick Gordon's going to be doing it anymore, so I don't know who will do the Wolf 3 music. See, the Wolfenstein announcement is interesting because it's going to be like another year. Before they can really get into principal development due to like how the franchise rights work. Right? So... I have a feeling that Wolf 3 is actually much closer than we're currently anticipating it. Like, it could be end of this year. Okay, so then I come out here. There are two doors. What is in this door? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yes. Youngblood damaged the IP, so they need a little bit to make it fucking perfect. Youngblood came out two years ago? It was 2019? Again, I haven't formed an opinion on Youngblood. I haven't played it yet. I intend on playing it. So, we'll see. I think Andrew could ha handle the Wolfenstein games. Yeah? I think Andrew could handle anything you throw at him. It's just, is he the right fit or not? I'd have to hear what his interpretation of the series is. Would it be cool if I turned the lights off? because my eyes are starting to hurt with the lights on.
New Order had a perfect balance. They lost it in the sequels. Again, I'd appreciate no, like, spoilers on anything past New Order. Because I haven't played it. I'll form my own opinions on the games when, you know, I play them. I love the detail in this game. It is very much not of its time. Your favorite's probably Old Blood? Well, I need to play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Uh, I've not played that before. Because Civi said it's it's the best Wolfenstein game, so we'll see. Uh, GG Man lives. I used to follow him. Um. I, he's nowhere near as good as Civi. I don't know. It like his sense of humor is definitely not one that jives with mine. Whereas Civi is like the perfect YouTuber for me. I don't know, Civi just spoiled me, man. Civi's so fucking good. This seems like a secret. Like, it can't perfect hop, hop, hop up there. It can't perfectly be that and not be possible, right? Use the nade to jump yourself up. I'm not taking away any health I don't need to. You can definitely get up there, though. There doesn't seem to be anything up there, though. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Steve Hammer. I love your content, by the way. Thank you very much. Steve Hammer, service technician. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a plasma gun, we've all been a bit nervous. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine wouldn't accept his credits, he lost it and started swearing up and down. You had to laugh when that machine lit up, but before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need the additional security, but when the guards start going nuts, I don't know, all this extra weapons and ammunition. I mean, do we really need so much firepower laying around? Well, a couple of us decided to lock up all of the unsecured plasma rounds we could find. The code is 734. I think we'll all sleep a bit better tonight knowing the lockdown. I 
love the voice acting in this game. The voice acting is great. Don't you think? Doom 3 is the perfect game for Germa? Why is that? Hey. Over here. We were hit. <coughs> I don't know how much farther I can go. Here. Take the transmission card. We can't stay here. It isn't safe. We better move. The grenade in this game is awful. All right, communications transfer. Did you play Prey 06 over Doom 3? Well, the game I'm planning on playing after this is the Wolfenstein stuff. Is that supposed to be a That is the caco. Okay. Kind of a strange looking fucker, but that's fine. Is Doom 3 fun? Are you enjoying it? Oh, yeah, it's fun. Whoa. How long until the Hugo stream? I think you'll play Quake 4 when you finish Doom 3? Not immediately. I'm probably gonna play New Colossus and Youngblood first. Hugo streams in an hour? Cool. This game has really good atmosphere.
I don't want to clog up Tyler's chat any longer, so that so that's it about this stuff. Am I missing a secret? I, I like I love games that have secrets. Have you played Proteus? I played the Kickstarter build when I was a backer. Uh, when I I am a backer, but I never got my code for being a backer, and I just haven't had a chance of just buying it again. Which you know, from what I've heard, the game's fucking phenomenal, and I have no problem buying it again. Yeah, I've played Ultra Trail. Yes. The ugly ass mist remake on Oculus? I thought the mist remake on Oculus was pretty good. It's mist. What, what do you expect? I got some new slippers in the mail. They're pretty nice. How have you been, Tyler? I've been pretty good. Channel's doing well. Electra's happy and, and getting healthier. Does Doom 3 use the same engine as Prey? Original Prey, yes. Thank you, Prey. What's up? You're not gonna read the book today? Are you still accepting your challenge? <laughs> yeah. You don't want the reward. What else do you want? Why? Because I'm live? Because it's perfect. Yeah, it's a good thing to crave. Am I the only person that unironically liked Quake 4? Well, I haven't played Quake 4 yet, but I know it's a sequel to Quake 2, which I haven't also played yet, so... Chainsaw is goofy. Did 
you know Bethesda decided to use the name Prey? Nah, I know. Yeah, I know that story. Psycho shot. Yep. I've never used the chainsaw in real life, no. This is the audio log of Office around Ridge dated October 16, 2145. Recent transport tunnel accidents are causing major headaches, both supply and maintenance. Each accident caused an estimate of one to three hour delay in one of most of the time sensitive shipments. It's becoming evident that certain junctions need safety adjustments as well as recommitment to driving safety by all personnel. The m Protocom Center route has shown the biggest increase in accidents over the past six months. Safety signs and improved lighting are needed throughout the main junctions over the stretch of tunnels and paths. Absolutely, no recreational vehicle passage should be allowed during peak hours. All personnel should use monorail travel whenever possible to keep cargo shipments flowing smoothly. I'm playing BFG version because it's the version that they're using. It's the version they're using in the VR edition that's about to come out. It's even, they even have their own honor rail. That's nuts. All right, I'm gonna make something to eat and I'll be right back. Peace and air, Grace.
wish Hugo Boss was my dad. Hugo Boss was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Wish Hugo Boss was my dad. Hugo Boss was my dad. Hugo Boss was my dad. Wish Hugo Boss was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Hugo Boss was my dad. Hugo Boss was my dad. Wish Hugo Boss was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Hugo Boss was my dad. Hugo Boss was my dad. Hugo Boss. Send me memes to react to while we wait. This is what I like to eat. This is what I like to watch when I eat. I love this show. ヒキザケとかキキワインは用意しませんけども、絶対にあの、キキインスタントラーメン。そう、言い換えますか。いや、いいですよ。全部いけますよ。ま、今日はね、はい。30種類。あ、はい。このラーメンを食べ分けていただ
near the end of the Quake 2 single player campaign. Nice. Uh, same, it's been, it's, it's always it's always tough when you get to this phase of development because right. the, the nights are late. But, but uh, <laughs> um, I mean, the last, the last thing that I was playing a lot of was probably Spider-Man, uh, okay. which was uh, Hugo and the team played it and uh, and just were talking about it constantly. So um, and it's odd, it's odd. It's game of the year, you know. Right. Um, so uh, I was I I I, I love it. It's, it's fantastic. Really, cool. really, really good game. Um, very and, fun. And yeah, very, very fun. It, and it proves like, you know. I mean, you you said it uh, when when you were talking to me about it. Just how awesome the web slinging is, and just it is. like that. That mechanic itself is just a wonderful thing. It's, to, it's, to and it's, very, it's, it's not that I'm necessarily like super into <clears throat> like Japanese culture or anything. I just really, really like that show. What should we watch? When does the live stream start? In less than 30 minutes. What do you find appealing about it? I don't know. It's just fun. Let's watch some of this guy. I'm the motherfucking queen of England. I'm a bikey man from a bikey gang. Living in my crack den, making crack. I love killing, thieving, and extortion. Give me 20 bucks, I'll give you an abortion. I love cocaine and selling it to kids. I charge 50 for an ounce. And my dad used to fuck me rippity d. My name's Snake. From a rival gang So give me the drugs or I'll go bang I'm a real rough bloke I'll murder your wife So give me the drugs or you'll be in strife Oh no, he's got the drop on me But lucky I got a trick up my sleeve Bang! Biggity bang! A bigger bang bang Biggity biggity bang And a shoot 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 Put a bullet in your head Bing bam boom And he's effing dead Stop right there, I'm a crooked cop Give me a bribe or your drugs will stop If you Oh you gangsters are such big roughies I'm gonna put you in handcuffies Oh no, it's the boys in blue What the hell am I gonna do? Bang! Biggity bang, a biggity bang bang Biggity bang, biggity bang And a shoot 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 Put a bullet in your head Bing bam boom and he's effing dead Well hello there, I'm just a passerby And I just Bang! Biggity bang, a biggity bang bang Biggity bang, biggity bang And a shoot 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 Yum, yum, yum. Mark, thank you so much for your delicious Christmas dinner. I honestly couldn't fit in another bite. Really? Because I have a Christmas pud. Oh, maybe a little bit of pud then. What a bloody surprise, mate. You got room for pud. <laughs> you love your pudding. All right, well, there's always a little bit of room for pud. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I don't think I have room for pud. There's no pressure. If you don't want to have any pud, uh, bro, um, Broden? Then you don't have to have any pud. Right, we just a little bit of me. <laughs> oh, so you do want a little bit of pud. I thought you cheeky little boys would want a little bit of pud. Um, this video was just get fucking steal. perfect. How much pud are we talking? Like, about that much pud? Maybe a little bit more pud than that, mate. Yeah, yeah mate. that's what I thought, mate. Oh, mate, maybe a little bit more than that, mate. No, I would give me a bit more of that. Yeah, you do want more, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I love pud. I love pud. Oh. Mate, that's a lot of pud. I, I don't know if I have room for it. Are you sure you don't have any room for custard? I oh, didn't say that was custard. <laughs> oh, you want that custard, don't you, big boy? Get the couch ready, because there's custard. I'm going to be a, in, I'm in naughty land by two. Put screaming out for some custard. I made it from eggs. You ever had eggs? Oh, fuck, they're sick. All right, yeah, chuck it, boy. Chuck on the custard, and then chuck a little bit of cream on there as well. Oh, bit of custard. Oh, bit of brandy cream, mate. Just make sure you don't do too much of either. You know, that's the, you don't want to overpower the pud. Oh, what about, who am I kidding? Have as much as you want, Broden Kelly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, guys, I made too much pud. 
Oh my big fuck head. Now nah, we can have a little bit more. I think there's enough room for two puts, mate. Where's the rush? Why are you rushing? Just leave it there. Someone will eat it. Nah, I'm not gonna put it away, boys. I was just testing other. Yeah, you leave it there, see what happens. When you invest in put, you invest in your friends. I love put. Oh. Wow, I can't believe it. I've had two serves of put. <sighs> Shut up. And have more put. <laughs> Is put. Come on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Too much wood. That's Auntie Donna for you. There's one other video of theirs that isn't as popular. Uh, hello there. My name is Mr. Mustache Man, and I've got a big sale on today at Karen Downs. I've got a big thing of moustaches, and if you want a moustache, like, I love moustaches. Uh, someone said to me, it was 1972, and they said, I want a moustache. And I said, well, is it, you need a specialty store in Caron Downs. Here I am, having a little laugh. And the best thing about this is you can take that moustache off and put it back in the box. My name is Mr. Moustache Man. Um, this is my friend Broden. He, um, he, he gets a bit mad sometimes and, and, and taps me on the sack. This here is Mark Bonanno. He's, uh, he, he, he doesn't work for us anymore, unfortunately. Um, because he was convicted of... Uh, okay, here we are. This is Mr. Mustache Man. I like to sell mustaches. $20 for mustaches, and it's going to really blow your mind how many mustaches I've got. And there's so many mustaches that there's now two Mr. Mustache Men. Here's Mr. Mustache Man number one and Mr. Mustache Man number two. Now, let's have a think about uh, ways that you can make friends. One way is with some mustaches. This is the old west moustache, it's a big moustache and I like to use it to impress the ladies at the, at the Revolver nightclub, I go into the city on the Sunday night, I go to Revolver nightclub and I f- Twenty dollars here for the Mr. Mustache moustache, uh, this, this little moustache is a, is a big boss moustache, I'm a big boss and I love to make a, all my friends, oh no a fella! This is the mustache man. If you come in with seventeen ninety five, I'm gonna say the lowest price is twenty dollars. If you come in with a smile and a quick in your step, I'm gonna give you a mustache for seventeen ninety five. That's probably the lowest I could go. We do mustaches here at Mister Mustache and Co. We do mustaches and that and fish food. Uh, Sixteen dollars is gonna get you two mustaches and a fish food, and that's what it's really all about. I'm having a little dance because I'm so excited about all the mustaches that I have to sell at the Mr. Mustache Emporium, 1652. Best thing about my mustaches is you can add them. Look at me go. I love to add mustaches for breakfast and dinner. Uh-oh. Here it comes. A little mustache egg. Mr. Mustache Man loves mustaches so much he even gives himself a little kiss when he gets a mustache. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Mustache Man. Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, you're so good at kissing, Mr. Mustache Man. Ooh la la. This French mademoiselle has discovered a man with a mustache, and she is ready for love. Gives him a little kiss, and thinks to herself, I must buy him some more mustaches after the wedding. I love mustaches, and my wife Sun Li loves mustaches too. Hey, can I, can I level with you guys right now? I don't like mustaches. I'm in it for the mustache coin. Mr. Mustache Man, $17 for a mustache, $18 for a mustache. Mr. Mustache Man, I'm going to go to Mitchell Road, but I'm going to go to the line, I'm going to go Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 That was that. Do you want to watch another one like it? I do.
you guys know you could add a mustache? I'll just let's watch something else. Bet, 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 check, turn, fuck! I'm going all in! Shit! Fucking cheery, you bitch! Check, all in! Ah, shit! Hi, son! Hey, Dad. Tetsuke, one second, my boy just came in. Son, there's a, there's about 12 Japanese hitmen on the other side of this computer monitor, and if I don't make this hand, they're gonna execute me, you, and your mother. They're gonna slit our fucking throats in the living room. Tetsuke, raise! Tetsuke, raise! Sorry, son. We're in a life or death situation here. So it's real good timing that you that you come and talk to me now. What do you want? Can I have some money for Son, some... listen, if you keep wearing those goddamn track suits, looking like a piece of Euro shit, and not like a good old American boy with a pinwheel hat and striped trousers, I'm gonna kick your ass out. I'm not Euro trash. I'm a D1 football man, all right? If you don't love the pigskin with all your heart, if you don't wanna fuck that pigskin, then I'm gonna take you down to the courthouse and change your name to Tingle Shitmouth, okay? I'm gonna change your last name to shit. Dad, I'll be a techno boy till I die. I'm getting a package from the Yakuza tomorrow, and it's either gonna be $70 million or enough anthrax to kill a small village. Might as well, it's a gamble. Life's a gamble. I don't care about the freaking Yakuza. Come at me, look at me. One sec, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, God damn it. Sharon! You dumb bitch! Sharon, listen to me. This is my deep web burner <clears throat> phone, and now that you called it, your number's been tracked, and your whole family's gonna be killed tonight. Goodbye. God, rest in peace, Sharon. Really, Dad? This virtual giant is the only one I get, okay? Your mama cut me off from the meat supply, if you feel what I'm saying. I go back to my laptop, I type in my website, and you know what I do? I, I, I wank my dick till it looks like beef jerky. I'll body your shorty and I'll put you in the ground, too. My stocks are flying through the goddamn roof, son. I gotta contact my, my man, Chipley, one sec. Chipley, come in! Yeah, okay, cell four and cell five, now! Chipley, now! No! Son, I'm managing my stocks here. No! Chipley, are you are you hearing me? Sell four now! Chipley, sell five! Chipley! You better sell four, you better sell five, you better sell six! Chipley! Ah! Sell four, we're done! Chipley, we're done! Fuck! Hey Dad, can I have 50 bucks? Miku won. You know what that means? All my friends are gonna die. And you are too. <laughs> we're just, we're just... We're literally just like like wasting time until the stream starts, which starts in 15 minutes. Terry, listen to me. That's not it. That's not an excuse. Okay. I'm, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. All right, Pear. I'm gonna take this blackberry and shove it up your goddamn ass! I'm sick of your shit. You're a rat. You're a rat. Okay? You're a piece of shit. Terry, listen, I'm gonna hang you out to dry. I'm gonna beat your ass raw. You bitch! You're gonna be sleeping with the fishes. Terry? Terry? My son? He's good. My son's good. I don't know where he is. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Terry, I can't find my son! If you make one more mistake, I'm gonna tie two lead weights to the bottom of your ankles, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens. You're gonna be eating my shocks, Kabish. Bison, you're gonna be eating my shocks, Terry. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it you be eaten by shocks, Terry. Oh look, that sounds like my boy now. Hi boy! There's my boy. Come on! Have a seat in that sweet chair. Terry, I gotta go. I love let me let me do this really quick. Terry, I gotta go. I love you so much, but I'll break your legs, you bitch. So, you're looking good. You're looking real strong. You're looking nice. How was school? Oh, it was good. Just good. Not uh, not great. You need to know something. When I get capped in the streets like a like the piece of shit I am, you're gonna have to take over the Pasta Boy family, and I don't know if I can trust you with that. You're gonna be the one that has to take over. Are you gonna be able to handle that? I hope so. Because it's coming. And I'm gonna I'm gonna probably be dead by next week. Alright? Your your ninny loser brother sure as hell can't do shit. He's sitting there wanking his shrimp dick to horse hentai <laughs> with his VR goggles strapped tight. And I'm sitting down here paying the bills. What is he doing? Nothing. He's 
slamming his trusty cock to some horse hentai? You think I like that? You think I'm okay with that? In my house? In my house? In here, I'm a good dad, okay? Because I play catch with my boy. But out there, look at me wrong. Look at these two dice eyes wrong. You look at me wrong out there, it's like a pow. It's like a pew. It's like a pop. All right? I'm fucking... All right? Kill me. Everybody's scared of me. I'm a snake. I'm a raptor. My name's, my name's Donnie Pasta Boy, and I'm a raptor. Jerry gave me that gag Christmas gift. You know what I did the next day? <laughs> Sent him down to the bottom of the river, okay? He's sleeping with the fishes now. Night, night. Night, night, Jerry. Sleep tight, you bitch. You wanna be like me? Two things. A minivan and an AK-47. You're a part of the Pasta Boy family, okay? You're the Pasta Boy leader. And once I get capped, you're gonna have to take over, all right? You're gonna be the one with the head leash controlling all these idiots that work for me, okay? And you gotta drop those balls. <laughs> all right, cut. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Hey man, Josh, I don't think you're going to be able to handle that pepper. A classic! Oh, yeah. It's going about to... Uh, it's hot. Just come over here and let's enjoy some saltines and some tomatoes, huh? Enjoy the big game, come on. Oh, this is a hot one too. Seriously, you don't need to be eating that, man. So how is it? <clears throat> it's it's fine. It just kind of kind of comes at you in waves. I, oh, it's definitely got a, a, a different taste. It's um, it's tangy. I wouldn't necessarily say hot, hot but you need some help? No, I, I'm I'm good. Josh, how's that pepper? I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of starting to think, breathe, breathe. I shouldn't have done this. Um. <coughs> oh. Oh, this. Oh. Oh. This is just. Why did I. Why did I do this? You sure you don't need some help? What is this? This is not even of this earth. Somebody have a, a, na a number of a local. A uh, local. A a oh, just. I need. I need something here. This is just not working. Oh! This is like a local arsonist is just decided lighting a fire in my throat. And the fire department is not on duty. It, it, it's like a mother puma giving birth in my mouth. Oh, uh, it's so hot. Oh, oh fi firemen are needed here. Firemen are needed here. Dude, did anything at this point? Look, just give me some of those crackers. Get the, oh, anything at this point, dude. Just to get this taste out of my mouth. Hey, man, I don't know if this is going to help, but... Why don't you just go ahead and... Oh, no, this is, oh, this is a desert fire now! Just take it. Oh, this is so hot! This is for you, Charlene! Just take it. Yeah. Hugo, you should start the stream. <clears throat> Hugo, you should start the stream. Start, start the stream, Hugo. Look at the wall of fame, all the funnies are there. And shit ain't funny. Ten more minutes. Guys, we can win this dance contest. Wait, what? What? Dance? Dancing? Josh, I would, but I am much too busy right now. Two free tickets to, to Bush Gardens to see Aerosmith live in concert. Aerosmith? I really hate Aerosmith, but I'm a big fan of Steven Tyler. You like Steven Tyler to me? Me too. Steven is such a talent. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you like him too? Yeah, but I love, I love Steven Tyler. Yeah. He's awesome. Let's do this. You guys tell me you're not pumped about this. Demetrius, stop that.
We're gonna pump it up. Let's pump this up. Is that, is that is, we're gonna pump? Is that, is that, is that that's what we're doing? We're pumping it up. We, yeah. Let's take a thing and pump it up. What? He's so passionate. This. If you don't laugh, I will hate myself forever. He does it. Look at the passion in those hips. Look at the passion in those eyes. Look at the thunder in that heart. You're a steed, Olin. You are a steed. He's quite the steed. Look at the rain in those ears. Okay, before we begin Feel the stream, passion. Feel the music. Never back down. Never quit. Your passion reigns true. Burn it up, man. Oh, oh pow, pow, pow. Burn you... it up, yeah! Are you hot? Dude, look how fast his feet are moving. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. There's fire. That's so fast. How does he do that? My eyes are blurring. Burn it up, yeah! Oh, man. Oh, you see that move? What was that? Teach me that. Oh, oh, oh yes! Yeah. Yeah, burn it! Oh, he's burning it up! Get the coal churning. Yeah. Get that coal churning. Get the coal churning. Get the coal churning. Oh, Josh, dude, you're you're burning it up. He dude. is. Man, it's so hot. No! Oh, no, no! 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 no. <laughs> Scared us. Man, I thought. You need to go back to that earlier stuff, Yeah, man. seriously. Don't do that again. Don't ever do that. That's Gosh, man. Very frightening. Just saying. stop it! Stop! <laughs> hey, calm okay, down. he's good. Calm down. See, oh, yeah, yeah! You got it. Yeah, there he is! Oh, yeah, yeah! Get yeah. Coal. Oh, oh, coal man. churn! Churn that coal! Get oh. coal churn! You got it churning? Sam, wait a sec. When is this thing? I don't know. Do you know? Let me check the flyer. Yeah, let me check this flyer here. Oh, did you see that move? Do that. Yeah. Would you look at that? Contest ended in 1985. What does that mean? It means we're 24 years late. So no Butch Gardner? No. Or... No Aerosmith? No Steven Tyler? No Steven Tyler. God, I'd... I'm just, I could. <laughs> That's not, that was Lazy Purple. All hand animated. That was done by Lazy Purple. <sighs> We're seven minutes away. John sent me this. I want to talk about something really funny. Okay, before we begin the stream, I want to talk about something really funny. I want to talk about something really funny. And uh, it has c come to my attention that um, Did You Know Gaming did a uh, bootleg Mario video. And uh, they mentioned me in it. The thing about it though is they they could not have picked a better photo. I'm not sure if this was a joke or a like sincere uh, confusement. Like is that that guy? Except I look like a <laughs> look like a football in the picture. <laughs> okay, let, let me let me <laughs> let me show you this. this. It, it it it's it's funny as fuck. It's funny as fuck. Okay, hang on. Uh, it's quite a. I, I don't know where they got this image, man. I don't know where they got this image, but it's it's quite incredible actually. Hang on. Hello and welcome to Did You Know Gaming Extra. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at a selection of games from the huge array of Mario bootlegs. Bootlegs are best defined as black market titles that are sold illegally, most of them loosely using a well-established character's likeness or reskinning the assets of an existing game to be ever so slightly closer to another franchise. The Mario series is single-handedly the highest grossing video game franchise out there, and with such a massive following, bootlegs were sure to emerge in the- Well, 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 boys, I don't want to interject into your video, but did you know that Mario's hut, the Emma, stands on it? It stands for, uh, Massive Diarrhea. ...an attempt to cash in on the Mario name. One of the most well-known Mario bootlegs is a reskin of the Flintstones NES game called uh. Seven Grandad. This bootleg was brought into popularity by the streamer Vogue Skeletal. <laughs> How did this happen? How did this happen? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> okay, now... Now, what I think is meta here, and I don't know if this is intentional, but I think choosing this image of me it could not have been a better choice because it's kind of bootleg in itself. What the fuck? Coolman sent me something really fucking funny last night. This reminded me of that. I thought this is what you were showing me. Oh, yeah, um, did you guys 
Yes, now. That's Super Mario Brothers 2 was originally Doki Doki <laughs> <laughs> oh, so fucking funny. Do I have a, like John? Where like are you gonna finish the thumbnail? Because your thumbnail is amazing, and I need to get this video. I need to get this video out. It's it's been sitting unlisted for like two hours. You're working on it. Do you have an ETA? use one of these for a minute. <sighs> How much longer? I want I want to watch Hugo. I want to watch Hugo. Where's Hugo? Oh, guys, make your thumbnails under 2 megabytes. Okie dokie. So, I will go to Bethesda's Twitch page. Hugo Martin, let's listen to the song again. Let's record a new Hugo Martin song. Let's record a new Hugo Martin song live, live on Twitch. We got to pick a, an instrumental. We got to pick an instrumental. So we are going to cycle through my bootlegs and try and find a good instrumental. Hugo Martin, be my dad. Hugo Martin, be my dad. Nope. Somebody's fucking. Nope. 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 try that one that one that one's okay it's not perfect but we can mess around with it a bit tweet just went out they should be live I 
wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin, Hugo Martin. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Was my dad. Hugo Hugo Martin 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 Martin. Hugo Martin was my dad. Hugo Martin was my dad. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. 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 And Hugo Martin. I wish he was. I wish he was. I wish he was. But was my dad. 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 Hugo Martin. Wish he was my dad. I wish he was my dad. I wish he was my. Wish he was my. I wish he was my. Where's my dad? Was my dad? Was my dad? Was my dad? Hugo Martin. Wish he was my. I wish he was my. I wish he was my. Was my. Was my. Was my dad. 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 I wish Hugo Martin. Starting. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to stream this whole damn thing. Cause this thing's gonna be long. He's gotta do part one and two of Necrovol. You know? We're gonna watch a little bit of the Hugo Martin thing, and then we're all gonna move over to the Discord server. So, how's everybody doing? Anybody that's joining in? How's everybody feeling? Wonder if he's gonna and yeah. Willie acknowledge the leak. 
I want to see if he acknowledges the leak or not, and then we're gonna we're gonna head out and host them. I hope they just open with the trailer at this point because of the leaks. So, ah, can we start the stream? It's 7.38. Can we start the stream? I swear to God, how long are they going to make us wait? Do you think they knew that those achievements were going to be live? You think they knew? Please start the stream, please. Hundred percent, it was a soul push. What do you mean soul push? What do you mean by that? Same thing happened with part one, it did. They intended it to happen? Oh. Hey, here we go. How are they gonna handle it? Alright. No, I know they pushed it themselves, but it's like... It's the same thing they did last time, so maybe they did know. But if they did that today, it's like... Wait, the support runes leaked? What? The Slayer's time is now. 
Oh, thanks to the achievements. Okay. How many how many trailers are you gonna make us watch, Josh? Two. And you will crush our enemies and cast down those who So we're gonna watch the beginning of this and then we're gonna raid in and then everybody uh in the chat, your chat mission is uh you know, Tyler McGregor says hi or something like that. I think it'll be like Doom 64 Maker on Maker upgrades. Well, I think it'll be like any other weapon with the upgrades. So Hugo's Twitch page is Hugo Not. Your reckless mission ends now. Hugo Not seventy six is a Twitch page, and it appears to be Hugo Martin's Twitch page. Okay. Escalation encounters. Yeah. All right. There you are. Not that I was gonna say what it was. Hey, everybody out there in the universe of worlds. Uh, welcome to the dimension that we are in, which is currently uh, the Doom Eternal sphere. The space, How do you think he's feeling? The, the hype, everything is real, everything is happening right now. I am joined by none other than to the... God damn it, it's so hard to do on camera. To the screen left of me is none other than studio i just want to i was i almost called you like studio director i was just going to be like president of the world united <laughs> <laughs> this is game director hugo martin what's up dude what's up hello everybody this is always weird because i don't have the split screen so i'm staring at the loading screen right now <laughs> talk but it is good about to see you talk all out about there. the leak. i got the delay i could see it on my ipad okay but um yeah no i'm good good to be back um I just would like to start off by saying that my performance last week was uh, was just top. For show. A -class. Ultimately, yeah, I I could have dominated. Mm -hmm. I I chose not to um, because good I think choice. it's important to let people feel good about themselves. Um, now, the whole move of not using BFGs when we're supposed to, but in particular, not doing at least my basic quick swap uh, and playing my style proved to be uh, challenging in the most challenging parts of that level. But I ended up getting inspired, and I, I after that stream, played through uh, several of the levels and DLC 1 on Nightmare with the base controller, not the paddles, just to get back, just to dust off my black belt. I have to say, okay. like, towards the end of development of Doom Eternal, I would play the game all the time on Nightmare just to kind of, like, test the edges of the experience. And I figured, like, if I could do it on a base controller, that would be a good balancing. Uh, F? Metric for, like, uh, mouse and keyboard players, obviously. So uh, being able to, to do it with ease. But, but, um, but I needed to... It had been a while. Like, you know, in particular, the thing that the AI do on nightmare that's that's uh, you got to get used to is they they have prediction on their attacks so like uh they could actually kind of lead you a little bit with their shots now that's easily avoided by juking them and and certainly when you're in the air you're less vulnerable but it's it's the reminder that you constantly have to be just on the move make sure you got your dps combos down make sure everything is you know you know what to do when you freeze a which i was fumbling a bit i was watching the footage and it's just because i was trying to lean on a single mod. This is the excuse show. That's what we're titled. <laughs> Welcome. The, if you're late, this is the if excuse you're late show. to the old person excuse show. Uh, <laughs> this is this week's episode. But uh, no, it was it was fun, man. It was cool. Like, uh, obviously, I'm a I'm a big fan. You gotta love what you make. Uh, you 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 really want to make sure that you make something with passion and that you you have to care about it. And, yeah. like, They're not gonna talk about it. Game. Like you know, I I love. I was talking with someone today. And uh, there are so many different games out there that are amazing. 
you know, throughout my career, I've been so privileged to have some opportunities to work on some really quick, cool stuff. I worked at Naughty Dog, like all kinds of places. A lot of people and, don't uh, know that. I came, I came yeah. across the country to work at id software i left los angeles because this is my dream this is what uh, these are the type of games that i love to play and i love that we're able to do this in the first person shooter genre wait is dad a band term players with this kind of experience and i myself i like making them and i like playing them so um it was really fun to kind of get back in the groove again after the show was over and spend the weekend just kind of like tooling around on nightmare and let me tell you something, Nightmare with a Base Controller DLC 1, whoa, that's some, uh, that's some good stuff. Uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. I got through Atlantica, you know, and, and uh, I'm blasting through Blood Swamps now. And it was just, it was a good time, so. Sometimes you gotta, uh, you gotta shake off the ring rust, you know what I mean? It's just like any fighter going into the arena, it's like, you can go in there and swing around and be like, damn, this feels good, this just feels good, and I'm, I'm good at it. And then you start to realize like, but I've been better, and <laughs> maybe I need to get back. Yeah, and they're like, not going to talk about it. All right, I'm going to raid things. Right? Yeah. There's a, there's a, you know, Doom. Doom is an FPS rhythm action game. You know, there's everybody a lot go of tell Hugo and Josh action. that I said hi. Sensibilities. We kind of are arriving at this place where we're making this kind of hybrid FPS game, and it's just different. And I, I, it's all we we want to make is something that really pushes players, and and we offer something other than shotgun go boom. You know, I, I. I say Doom can be more uh, thinking more than a than a dumb corridor shooter. I said that at the when we were doing our our press tour. Yeah. And so 